Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Pillars of Eternity 2. As I continue with my blind let's play. Now, last time we just picked up the quest for the Royal Dead Fire, uh, a matter of import. Um, we went to the island of Soyuka. Uh, Wydla, that's the name. Uh, meet her in west of Nakataka. I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and go do. Since I'm on this screen, let's see. Okay, yeah. Uh, then I think after I do that, I'll I'm gonna finally start going after these bounties. Oh wow, this one's three more levels above. But um, confront this person, um, and then we'll see it, uh, how much time I have as you know we keep going through the video. Um, but at some point. I think I'll go back to the gullet, it's been a little bit, and um, kind of explore the under part of the gullet again. Or continue to, you know? Um, and maybe now, since we have Takehu, he might have some more insights on it, I don't know. That's my that's my thought, anyways. So yeah, that's, that's the plan. Uh, before we go anywhere, let's go ahead and look at supplies. Um, let's see, we're at 20,000? Ooh, 20,000. Ooh, we could get another ship, but that's... Oh, should I save it? Or should I sell some stuff to try to just... I'm actually tempted to do that. Uh, let's look at the stash. Hang on, everybody. I know we already already sold most of the duplicates. Let's do that. Um, I mean, really and truly, is there anything I'm actually gonna be using out of this? I don't know. I'll have to see. Uh, let's get rid of some of these duplicates, though, and the weapons. Oh my goodness, so many wands. So many swords. Let's go ahead and trade those. We'll just see where we stand after all this. So those... Bear with me, everybody, as I... Oops. Uh, go through all this. Okay. And then a couple of those. Who knows? Maybe, maybe at the end of this, I might have enough. Um, I want to have at least some money left over, though. Um... You know, mainly for the supplies and, you know, make sure we have enough food and water and whatnot. Okay. Dang, we are so close. We are so close. Fine hunting bow. I don't remember picking this up. Maybe I did. It's a saber? I might have to give that to a dare. Hold on to that one. I don't think I'm going to use any flails, really. So, I'm gonna sell that. Oh, yeah, the pistols. And then, we'll keep the mace, because I need to get Zodi back, and... Or maybe I already have her in the party. I'll need to check. I need to check what she's having. Or maybe, no, it's Sickles. Or no. I'll have to check. I'll just check. Okay, we are so close. Let me, let me just check right now. Yes, what am I saying? We have her in the party. Oh, okay, yeah, it is a sickle, not a mace. You know what? Uh... Is this it? Okay, yeah. It's it. Uh... Hang on. <laughs> what if we do that? I think I'm gonna try that. Give her that mace. Okay, so, let's go back here. And then... Hang on, let's go to the stash really fast. 
I was kind of hoping the music would not stop playing, you know. Let's get rid of one of one more of those. Ooh, that's a lot. Let's go to the armor really fast. There's the music. Yeah, let's get rid of some of that. I know I'm not gonna use some of that. Um, keep all that. Oh wow, that sells for nothing, so yeah, not doing that. Okay, we'll try that. So yeah, the Dell. Um, the Galleon's way off, so we're not even going to try that. So yeah, let's just check that. Um, so I think we're at 50 or 60 uh, whole health. Maybe it's 55, I'm not sure, but it'll increase our crew capacity. It'll take more turns, I think, to turn and all that stuff, but at the same time. So let's read it. It has little, uh, it's changed little since its inception in the days of Old Balia, where it performed a variety of roles from fishing vessels to warship. Its triangular sails and sleek, efficient hulls strike a balance between speed, maneuverability, and durability. Its armament, while modest, it's quite capable of standing up to both faster and tougher vessels. The design has fallen out of favor in the Valian Republics. The humble Dell has a resurgence in the Deadfire with the arrival of the Principe, who sail a craft with skill and tenacity of their old Valian forebears. <laughs> um, before we buy it. I know I'm taking a lot of time to do this, but before we buy it. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we, we just have enough. Of course, we have all them as well, but yeah, we just have enough. Let's, let's do it. Let's invest in this. And now we're broke, which is fine. So... Okay. So now the question is, how does this work? How, how do we transfer everybody over? Oh, uh, maybe I just have to put them off to the side. Let's try it. You know what? Oh wait, well, we, I guess we can't do that. Or at least not yet. So let's see if I can remember everybody's station. Cannoneer. Oh boy. Um. Hang on. Cook. Okay, they were extra. Deck hand. Navigator, where was the navigator at? Up here? No, that's both swain. It's the helmsman. Um am I just oh wait, navigator, right there. Cannoneer. Pretty sure it was a cannon, uh, cannoneer. Yes, expert cannoneer. So yeah, we'll have both of them on the, at least off to the sides. And we have a surgeon. Oh yeah, a nav, na uh, navigator. What a, both Swain. So. So yeah, let's put her to deckhand, because it doesn't... And we'll try that. Okay, so... We need cannons on that. So we'll switch it out.
Like I said, bear with me, everybody. Actually, and this time, let's do that. Actually, no, let's make a strong... Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Definitely need more cannons now. And then we'll do that. Okay. I don't remember where that was at. Um, uh-oh. Oh wait, it's right here. It's staring right in my right in my face. There we go. All right, we'll try that. Let's leave by sea, finally. And thank you to those who stuck with me this far, you know, bearing with me on doing that uh, ship management, so. Nice. Yeah, look at that. I love it. You know, I'm curious. Before we get started, let me go to the, the ship itself. I wouldn't be surprised if it looks the same. You know? No, it... I think it looks a little bit bigger than what it was. Yeah, it looks it looks looks different. That's awesome. Let's just uh, check inside really fast. At some point, I'm really excited to get a galleon and whatnot. Yeah, it definitely looks different now. I can tell. Oh man, that's cool. Nice. And now Zodi's uh, right over there. Okay. Awesome. Alright. Let's get going. So yeah, time to see if we can make that uh, rendezvous with uh, Rautai. So off to the west. Yes, right there. And hopefully they pay us good for completing this, because we're really low on cash now. But I think it'll be worth it. And we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. A long, sleek ship rides low in the water. Its crew stands protectively around a cluster of crates positioned on the main deck. A woman saunters across the deck, her rough, chopped hair swinging with her stride. We said or not, Perrin. She bangs her fist against one of the crates. The dwarven men standing near her flinches as though she hit them. I'd happily tell you if you stopped interrupting my count. He rolls his eyes skyward. She cracks and thumps him on the back. He staggers forward and shoots her a venomous glare. You've had days to count. Now it's time we talked about the price. She turns her attention to you, eyes gleaming. Perrin follows her, ga uh, follows her gaze. His eyes go wide. He clears his throat. <clears throat> Careful. This one's got friends in the Consuelo. In that case, I'll honor the original price. Consider that a discount among friends. Oh. All right. Um, oh, that's right. I don't... Oh, no. Oh, no, everybody. I got so... I guess you could say... Caught up on, you know getting another ship. I don't have the money. I don't have the money. Then I'll just have to take whatever you've got. <laughs> Dig it. Dig it. Adam. Well, this is not exactly how I wanted this to go down, but we'll... 
Oh boy, okay. Everybody. Charge. Attack her. Okay. Hang on. All in the area. Okay, so do that. If you can't. If you can't, okay, who? Actually, I don't know if he pulled that off or not. Come on, Zodi. Go. Who's Zodi? Actually, I don't know why Elseris is standing back there. So, Zodi, this might hurt, but you're gonna you make a run for it. Disengage. Disengage. There you go. Oops, wrong ability. Let's do this. Second try, I say. Uh, Zodi, come on. There we go. Happy to oblige. Let's break this whirlwind. Think you got the decency to die? Okay. You have my attention. No, I cannot do that. Let's do that. There you go. Nice, I love the effect. And then Takehu, heal up. You need something. I am seeing trails. Oh, you're good, you're good. So yeah, not sure how Rautai is going to respond now that we've taken them out, but we'll see. Speak your mind. That would be a no. Alrighty. Several crates now blood stained or stacked together. Take the crates and sail away. The crew hauls the crates aboard, stepping carefully around the bodies. You know, I didn't check the gear. Oh well. Alright, so let's go back to Nakataka. Uh, as your crew hauls the smugglers' crates below decks, uh, one of them shouts in alarm. Irina finds you in your cabin. Captain, come quick. Someone just popped out one of the crates we picked up. Before you can object, Irina leads you to above deck. Not, was, uh, not what I was expecting, honestly. Um... Okay, uh, a plump, middle-aged woman stands beside the crates. Her clothing is rumpled and her hair matted, but her eyes twinkle with triumph. Gilarde, 23 days! This is a new record! What? Okay. Uh, she smells of Saul, uh, you're an old sweat and worse, but she beams at you all the same. What are you doing in there? Waiting to reach Sayuka, of course. Also testing my newest spell, Renove Miseris. She speaks the name as proudly as if it belonged to her firstborn. Nice. Renewal of air. Ark? Just so. Kith have explored every mountain in the Eastern Reach, yet the realm of fish and leviathans remains close to us. It has been my dream to open these steps to discovery, to let Kith breathe as the fishes do. 
or at least to let us use the air of a single breath again and again. So why go to Sayuka? Uh, why leave the Valen Republics? Back home, they care only for profit, and there is little profit to be had in sticking your head in the glass bucket to watch the fish. But the Rawatayans, they have vision. They chase greater things than gold. So I go to work with them. Okay. Uh, what exactly are you to be working on, Hatsuyuka? Sientere, but I had promised not to say. All right. Uh, that's all, I suppose. Yes. I have much to do. Many more tests to run before we reach Sayuka. A pleasure talking, Captain. Same here. And actually, uh, let me check the journal. We might need to go there instead of Nakataka. I might be... Um, oh yeah, duh. I have to go there. And it's up north. Gotcha. If I can... Come on. There it is. Just gotta watch out for any storms. Okay, perfect. Loving the shanties, as always. Sayuka at last! I must go. Discovery awaits. Agrasima, Captain. So long. Um. Okay, so she's gone ahead, so... Welcome to Sayuka. Uh, thank you. You are welcome in Sayuka, Traveler. As surely as the winds stir the sea. The young Hwanam woman gives you a sunny smile that shows every one of her pointed teeth. No, no, no. How many times must I demonstrate the proper way to greet a visitor? The undersecretary makes empathetic chopping motions with his hands, a snarl curling his thin lips. I say, I must have forgotten again. Will you remind me of the line, undersecretary? We say clear skies, traveler. Simple, elegant, and no smiling. Do you understand, greeter Tebe? Can you repeat it once more? I want to make sure I've got it. The Undersecretary opens his mouth to speak, but his expression abruptly clouds. He shoots a scowl at uh, Tebe and uh, elects instead not to dignify her joke at this expense. Uh, sorry, at his expense. Questions, Traveler? Uh, what can you tell me about Sayuka? Sayuka, known to my people as Rubiri, is a colonial outpost of the Royal Deadfire Company. Gotcha. The island of Sayuka is the Royal Deadfire Company's center of engineering research and development in the archipelago. Our work is directed by Fleet Master Okaya, the youngest Rawatayan ever to hold the title. Best of her class at the Naval Academy in Tokoa, and a brilliant engineer, our Fleet Master. You forgot to mention the giant sharks, Undersecretary. Uh... Why are you dressed like Royal Deadfire, soldier? Uh, soldier Tebe? Hey, Kira. I wonder the same every day. Alrighty. Uh, she tugs at her neck of the uniform and rolls her dark eyes at the Undersecretary when she thinks he's not looking. Tebe learns to perform her duties as a Rawatayan might. Her fellow Juana show a lamentable disinterest in the proper way of doing things. Do not speak about me as if I am not here. So what's this about giant sharks? Giant sharks, giant coral, giant trees, Hekira. The only thing not bigger in Sayuka is us Juana. Small mercy. No one knows why things grow large in Sayuka, but there are all sorts of theories. Me? I think Galloway smiles on us. I think some type of magic is involved, but we'll see. Um, anyways. Superstition is unbecoming of a Royal Dead Fire Company officer, Tebe. 
Or another thought is uh, it could be Audra that's also here, since everybody wants to go after the Audra. I say, it's a lucky thing I'm not one then. Uh, I'll not gonna worry about that question. So farewell. Thank you for the chat. Fleet Master's office, workshop. Got the market, longhouse, which is probably an inn, and then exit. I I will say that. I do like how, um, I don't know if I've touched on this before, but like how each area, you know, has the different faction controls and I guess what I'm trying to say is just, you know, how all the factions are kind of involved or trying to go after different resources, you're interacting with them, etc. It's just, it's just good stuff. I really enjoy it. Okay, so... Maybe the Fleet Master's Quarters. We'll see. I'm not sure where she went off to. Uh, let's talk to you. Fleet Master Okaya stares with unwavering intensity at the small sea of papers strewn across her desk. She holds a pencil lightly in one hand and absently taps the tip of it against her lips. After a moment, a low hum escapes her throat. The sound ends with a harsh scoff. Then she flicks her eyes to meet yours. Artillery trajectory calculations. Terribly tedious and lamentably imprecise in a storm. Ah, but the numbers distract me. Where are my manners? You must be the watcher the Hazanui sent. You found me with a rare spare moment. Uh, the Hazanui, uh, Karu asked me to deliver some cargo to you. I have received a report from the Dockmaster stating as much. The Royal Deadfire Company appreciates your swift delivery of our cargo. Uh... The Hazanui didn't say I'd be faring human cargo. Why would she? You're a courier. She stares at you in genuine bewilderment. In any event... Uh, she thoughtfully taps her pencil against the edge of her desk. The Hazanui's missive suggested you might be able to help us with an issue at port. Okay, go ahead. You may have noticed the outsized coral in the harbor. Okay, I'm gonna nod. There's something unnatural about the coral's growth. About everything on this island. And no matter how we trim it back, it only grows larger. My engineers deduce that the origin of this disturbance is somewhere off the coast of Sayuka. And I'd like you to investigate. Talk to Avera in the workshop if you care to learn more. I would be grateful for your help here, Watcher. She gives you a sharp, sh wow, sharp little nod, punctuated by the crack of her pencil against the deck desk. Uh, then returns to her work. I uh, wanted to ask you something really fast. Well. Uh, okay. Um. What's your take on the Royal Deadfire relationship with the Huana here? You don't waste any time. I appreciate your candor. It's a reasonable inquiry, I suppose. The Huana are pliant enough and willing to work hard when properly motivated. We have as much right to this land as they do. If they plan to do nothing with it, it's our duty to steward it for them. How can we make plans over the roar of cannon fire? We are too busy moving our families from bought or claimed islands. Some of the Huana seem unhappy. They'll adjust in time. Besides, it could be worse. She looks at her desk, uh, her mind quickly gone somewhere else. After a long silence, she hurriedly scribbles a note in the margin of one of her reports. Just saying, hopefully it's not another assassination attempt or note or, you know. Just saying. So... How would you feel if someone did the same to Rautai? <laughs> they could certainly try. I'm just saying, what if they succeeded, though, in doing so? Anyways, um... What does the Deadfire hope to achieve in the Archipelago? Besides, I guess, resources, but we'll see what you say. How much do you know of Rawatai, Watcher? Uh, I know some, but I'm always eager and willing to learn more. I see. It's a challenging place. Whatever manages to grow in our thin soil, the storms destroy. Right. 
The rough country, we call it. We have to trade for much of what we need, and the Juana have proven to be valuable partners. The Deadfire is markedly more... comfortable than Rawatai. The archipelago is also an excellent place from which to study the storms of Andra's mortar. Gotcha. Well, I will uh, bid my farewell. Thank you for the conversation. Yeah, I wonder if actually Rautai took over the dead fire. Um, what, like if I'll, if they would move a lot of their people here? I mean, probably so. I mean, obviously they're trying to figure out some way to fix the storms or you know have it to where Rautai is more hospitable. But um, anyways, let's see. Overgrowth. And she is somewhere. Um, so what happens if you dry out too much? If it is Ngati's desire that I stay moist, she will hasten the rain. Okay, so... Let's go up here. Let's see if we can find her. She, I'm guessing probably in there, but we'll see. No, actually no, she's in the workshop. I think that's what she said. It's funny, I thought I was going to be going back to uh, the gullet this episode, but I don't know. I might be distracted here for a little bit. There she is. Let's take a look, quick look around first. Before, never mind. <laughs> so, when you first enter the workshop, you find the Valian scientist, Ivera, and a large Amara man in heated conversation. He gestures wildly. His mouth is set in a hard grimace that bears his pointed teeth. Ivera regards him with his, with her hands planted firmly in her hips. When he spots you, his eyes wide. You, this area is strictly off limits to non-company personnel. What are you doing here? Carl, my Miko, is this not the casita your Asanui said she would send? That, that's me. How can I help? Praise be. The coral in the harbor is growing out of control, and we've found no way to stop it. We're at our wit's end. I've surmised that a magical disturbance must be the source of the problem. See, that's what I was wondering, but continue. So far as I can tell, the most likely candidate is a strange magical signature emanating from some place off the southeast coast of the island, deep beneath the sea. The Juana's records show that an ancient and Guithan ruin, Signaf Mor, once stood at that approximate location. I love the name. Uh, it kind of reminds me of... Oh gosh. Uh, it's a certain name in Star Trek Deep Space Nine. And it, I, the name escapes me, but it sounds kind of similar. Um, anyways, let's continue. I do not doubt that something in that ruin is the source of the trouble. Thurgwono, take this. It is my masterpiece, Ak. She heaves a large uh, bulbous helm off the nearby uh, shelf and hands it to you. Oh, nice. Diving equipment. Excellent. Excellent. The helmet should allow you to breathe underwater for time enough to deal with the disturbance, provided, of course, that you hurry. I'll make it my top priority. The Royal Deadfire Company thanks you for your assistance, Watcher. Thank you, sir. And your bravery. I, I didn't mean to cut that off, but it's, um, oh, whatever. I'll try not to do that again. Has a new demanded additional cannons. We must oblige her. We cannot spare the weight. Already the ballast is overtaxed. Increase the size of the ballast then. And store it where? Then we must increase the size of the ship. Take your concerns to the Valian. This mess is her responsibility now. Whatever hides behind this tarp reeks of brass, polish, and machine. I wonder if it's some kind of underwater boat or something. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe just some other... Uh, Magical construct. Okay, that's locked. Can we actually take this right over here? Probably not. It's probably stealing. Actually, no. 
It looks like we can, so I'm gonna just assume. Okay, let's talk to talk to some people. Let's zoom in here in case anybody's on the phone. Stay out of the way. Okay, never mind. I was gonna talk to you, but whatever. All right. So how about Avira? Ah, so much to do. So few hours in the day. Never mind. Let's let's get going. Uh, on it. Hurry! They're just outside the gate! Okay, um... Under attack by who? I don't see anybody all right off, but let's see. Oh goodness, um... That's a soldier. Oh goodness, okay. Wait, hang on. Ooh, no. Yeah. Everybody, focus on that bear. Boars, um... Okay, druids. Okay, gotcha. There we go. I do like how, even though that was three levels above us, we could still take it out if we all focused. Which, I mean, makes sense. It's just, anytime I see those icons, like you've noticed, I've become a little bit more wary. Ooh, that was weird. Um, you know, in attacking and whatnot. Indeed. Dang, guys. Actually, no. Tech, tech druid. Tech druid. This does not work. Miss again. What's that? Uh, it's Mark Stoney. Show me where to bite. Watch your fire. Oh yeah, that's right. I think her rifle, yeah, does do uh, friendly fire. Okay, so there's still enemies around because they obviously. Some over here? No. Okay, let's get back up then. Let's get back up. We got trouble, folks. Okay, I was about to say. Um. Sorry, everybody, bear with me. Okay, it must be down here. There we go. A tiger. Okay. Whoa! Nice. Actually, yeah. Go over there, Maya. Just so you're kind of out of lot, out of uh, everybody's line of fire. Speak freely. I'm listening. There we go. And actually, Maya, attack that. Me gone, I'll whoop the next Speak one of you and take happy to oblige. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. oh. All right. See, so yeah, obviously, the druids on the island do not like Rauti. Clearing her throat once, and then again, Maya raises her eyes to yours when you glance over. Oh, um, you wanted something, Captain? Uh, something on your mind? You could say that. Just thought I'd mention that if Shodi and I weren't already... Uh, Maya starts to say more, but cuts herself off. 
<laughs> Forget I said anything. It's not important. No, it's very important. No, you... No, let's drop everything. Speak. Speak your mind. I've got some answers. No! Oh, well. Let's be off. Yeah? Um... Reputations. Excellent. Okay. That's so funny that... And ironic that I have zero for a dare. But granted, he hasn't been in the party yeah. as much as the others. So... Alright, let's loot everybody. I hear you. I'll take care of this. Alright. I think the quest says to go to go to the fleet master, so that's what we're gonna do. Report back. Report in. I'm told you were instrumental in our stand against the druids. Well done. Thank you for the money. I really need it. The druids have harried us from the moment we made landfall. I'm gonna be diplomatic on this. Your people fought admirably. For a bunch of pencil-twiddling engineers, you mean? <laughs> Several days ago, I dispatched a small force to quell them, but I've heard nothing of them since. To be frank, I suspect they were killed. And I no longer have enough people to repel another attack. We Rauhatians are tougher than most, but we're engineers all the same. We weren't trained to fight. Given your impressive showing in our hour of need, I'd hoped I might impose on you with a request for aid. Go on. Go to the bog where I sent my people. You'll find the druids' leaders there, no doubt. Kill them. I could try to negotiate with them first, but we'll see what happens. Should you do so, the Royal Deadfire Company would stand in your debt, and I would be immensely grateful. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Until next time, Fleet Master. Alright, so we have the coral that we can go... Sounds like an underwater dungeon. Or go to the bog. The bog honestly sounds more pressing, so I think that's what I'm gonna go do. And beforehand, we're gonna go over here, see if we can rest up. Wait till, uh, uh daytime. What time is it anyways? Oh, okay, never mind. So yeah, let's... Let's go to... go to the inn. I'm assuming this is an inn. Nice, I like the... I'm sorry? Uh... Those Raparu dare make such a racket in my longhouse? What were those royal dead fire fools thinking? Well, at least the dead fire built you a better home. I don't need a better house. I need privacy. He throws up his arms with the wordless shout. A brief hush falls over the longhouse at the Matai's outburst. What do you want? Uh, I'll, I'll, you seem to be having a bad time. I'll, I'll leave you alone. Over, then under, then twist. Good. Akira, it looks so easy when you do it. So, I could be wrong. This might not be an end. A middle-aged, uh, Kaharu woman raises her bra uh, brows in question when you approach. Her hands too full with braided ropes of dried reeds to greet you properly. Besides her stands an elderly Raparu man, awkwardly grasping his own bundle of reed rope. Oh, hello. Come to watch me tie rugs, have you? Asaru, he has been teaching me. What say, traveler? Uh, I was just, just want to make, you know, oddly, uh, not oddly, wow, I, idle conversation. So, I'll, I'll leave you guys to it. Carry the winds with you, traveler. Thank you. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, so I'm I'm mistaken. Let us go. I guess it could be one of them. I, I don't know. I doubt it. So, in the meantime, we will head out. Population, 1,270. I forgot I could scroll this, but anyways. Okay, yeah, let's leave by foot. 40 minutes. Barrel site and then the bog. Let's go to the barrel site first. And search the location. Four hours pass and find a battle axe. Two more hours and find some Azadi uh, shells. There's nothing left. All right, let's head for the bog and, and see what happens. Uh, well, it says find and kill the leaders, but let's see if we can negotiate with them. Well, maybe not. We might have to take him out. Got someone in my sights. Okay, to Kehu. Do this. Not so hard. Huh? Oh my goodness. I have lost too much. This does not work. It didn't work? Oh lord. Probably should have uh Probably should have had uh, Aloth with us to cast Fireball and whatnot. What say? You need something. Oh goodness! Yes, do this. Do this quickly. And do this quickly. Zodi, quickly. There we go. Take care with your aim. Actually, might attack this one if you can. This does not work. That will do, I say. Watch me, mother. Yes, Speak your mind. Ooh, Zodi, Zodi, Zodi. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. She probably ought to go down. Yep, thought so. I'm here. Control yourself. Of course. Oh, I just realized they're one level above. Okay, to Kehu, you're gonna. Let's see what you're gonna do. Hang on. Gonna do that. Yes, Captain. Attack. I've reached my I will limits. swallow you whole. There we go. 
Let me check the journal really fast. Actually, no, it says it's the same uh, level, so we'll see. You have my attention. I'll take it with this. Akira, it is no problem. Okay, we'll grab all that. And then I guess go... Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, that's fine. I didn't mean to charge. Well, oh well. Let's do it. Alright. Ooh, that's uh... That's really tough. How are we gonna do? Okay, we're gonna try this, but it's probably gonna be really rough. Burns everybody. We're gonna hold off on that. Try that. Say your prayers. All right, just get get ready to cast this. Okay, if we're careful, we should be able to do this. Unless more people will come and show up. Hang on, I'm trying to remember what their what that one ability was. Is it this one? Yes. Please cast that Zodi. This does not work. Wait, that didn't work. Okay. Uh huh. That's okay. That's so weird that she keeps coming, you know, going right there and. Oh well. Does not agree with me. Time to separate the chaff. This does not work. Onward. Your aim could use some improvement. There we go. I got you to your death. Alrighty. I'll take care of this. Let us go. It's probably over here, I'm guessing. Hang on one second. Okay. Oh wait, don't we have a... instead of fine, don't we have an exceptional? I thought we did. Yes, we do. I think I'm reading that right. So yeah, 22 to 29, 23, yeah. Okay, so yeah. And she has that, and then I have, yeah, the pole axe. Okay. That works. You find four godlike druids waiting for you in the clearing. The death and moon godlike whisper to one another, their gazes occasionally falling on you. The nature godlike sways slightly on her feet, her eyes half closed, while the fire godlike vaults his fists at his sides and grits his teeth. Your every step fouls the ground. Why do you pollute this sacred place? 
I've come to end your conflict with the Deadfire. The Rawatayan invaders trespassed upon our sacred ground and ignored our overtures. The fault for this conflict lies not with us. Why should we believe you are any different? Listen, your, your disagreement with the dead fire endangers the island. I want to make peace. Eloquent though your words may be, they will build no peace between us and the invaders. They or we must leave this island, and we shall not be moved. Leave this place, Watcher, and do not return lest you wish to meet an early end. Uh, let me take a look around first. The time to gawk has passed. Kill the trespasser. Or not. Okay. Are they all summoners? Druid of Autumn, Winter, Spring, Fog. Let's get let's get rid of the summoner if we can. Oh no. Hang on, let's quickly do this. Oh uh, no, we are. All right, let's get out of that. Oh goodness. That looked really awesome, but that was really bad. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a Kehu. Oh, Zodi's gone as well. Oh no. That is really bad. Okay, we have that. Actually, no, everybody charge the winter one. We might not we might not do this. We might not do this at all. Ooh. Uh, activate this. If you can. Yeah, we're definitely... That was our first wipe, I think. Party wipe. Auto save. Yikes. I I knew. I kind of figured. I I should have. Uh, I should have saved it right before the the druid fight. So let's let's quickly try to just do this again. I might not um, go after that one encounter with the. You know, I at least want to go through this path. I think. Careful. Yours to command, Captain. This does not work. Yeah, I know. I know this could be really bad at first. Oh my goodness. Wow, we're just having a lot more trouble this time. Goodness. Actually, do you have a potion? Yes, you do. Use it. Uh, use the potion. There you go. At your service. I'm gonna cast this on Zodi. And then 
Yeah, I cast this on everybody there. What can I do you? This does not work. What can I do you for? Get thrashed. Hang in there, Palagina. Hang in there. Hang in there. Of course, I am ready. Okay. Seen trails. Yes, Captain. Good, I say. I cannot hold out much longer. Oh wow, I don't know if that even works. You have my attention. Yes. So help me gone, I'll whoop the next one of you who takes aim at me. Oh, that's the Kehu. Um Hopefully that wears off soon. There we go. Goodness. I'll handle this. Okay. So we're back to where we were. So I think now I'm uh if y'all have bared with me all this time, thank you. Um but I think actually that is where I'll cut the video for today. I just wanted to get past that part. I'm going to save it right here after I end the video just in case. Um, next time I'm going to try the druid fight one more time. If it gives me more trouble, I'm gonna actually going to come back for this. I think I'm uh, going to check out the underwater ruin off the coast of this island. Uh, if, if it does. Regardless, it, you know, that's what I'll do if I win the fight or not. Anyways, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. For tuning in to this video and taking the time out of your day to watch it. Wherever you guys are, have a good day, have a good night, and take it easy everyone.